Hi, this is Ryan with Blair Technology Group, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at restoring Windows 10 uh, back to uh, out of the box condition, basically wiping everything off it and, and doing a, a clean refresh. Um, first thing we'll need to do is either restart or power down the machine as you see I'm going to restart here shortly. Um, the odd thing with Windows 10 is normally in a restore partition you would just hit F8 and it would bring up a window. Uh, Windows 10 does not have this option due to some kind of quick boot software they have running. Uh, but what you want to do is once this restarts uh, and you get the normal loading window as you would see with Windows 10 uh, just like this as soon as you see this window just go ahead and hold down the power button for roughly about five seconds uh, the machine will come off restart it'll come back to this window hold down the power button again for five seconds till it shuts off and then on the third cycle here uh, you will get this window we're preparing for automatic repair uh, you might see a window that says please wait uh, that'll be fine too uh, they'll both take you to the same place eventually as you'll you'll see here shortly Once you've reached this automatic repair screen, you'll want to go ahead and left click on advanced options, uh, which will be the box on the right hand side. This will bring us to the choose an option screen uh, where we'll want to select troubleshoot in the middle here. Uh, just go ahead and highlight it and then left click. In this following troubleshoot screen, we'll want to select reset this PC. So go ahead and left click on reset this PC. On this next screen you'll have two options. Uh, we will want to choose remove everything. Uh, if you choose keep my files uh, it's a possibility that it can damage your restore partition and it's something we just do not suggest. Uh, so you want to highlight remove everything and left click on it. Uh, this will restore your machine back to day one out of the box. After the short loading screen, it'll bring you to reset this PC. Uh, you'll have two options here. Uh, you will want to select only the drive where Windows is installed. Uh, if you select all drives, uh, it can definitely damage your restore partition as well. So you'll definitely want to left click on only the drive where Windows is installed. This will bring you to yet another set of choices here to either just remove my files or fully clean the drive. Uh, you will want to select just remove my files. If you select fully clean the drive, it will work, uh, but it's going to take a significant amount of time. Uh, basically what it's going to do is wipe the hard drive over and over and over so data uh, cannot be recovered. Uh, say you were giving it your PC to someone else or you were selling it or something of that nature, then you would want to fully clean your drive and it can take several hours. Um, five, six, possibly more. Uh, but for just a standard restore for your own PC, you will want to just left click on just remove my files. This final confirmation screen uh, is just verifying that you actually do want to reset your computer and you can just go ahead and left click on this uh, boxed marked reset. This will begin the actual restore process. Um, this took roughly about 25 minutes on my machine to get to the next step. Uh, I am going to skip this on the video to save time and we'll resume when this is much closer to 100% here.
This will bring you to the installing Windows screen. Um, this will take about another six or seven minutes. Uh, it'll reboot itself again uh, in the middle of this and uh, we'll come back a, a little closer to when this is being completed to save some time on the video. Once the installation has been completed, it'll bring you to some settings options. Um, right now this screen is setting up your language settings. Uh, you probably want to leave everything the way uh, that it is by default, except for your time zone. You'll definitely want to select your time zone. Uh, it'll default to Pacific time. Um, you can click on this and it'll bring up a drop down box uh, to select your proper time zone. There's a mountain, central, uh, eastern, etc. Uh, we're in Kentucky, so we're going to go ahead and select eastern time. Once you've selected your proper time zone, go ahead and left click on this box marked next. Here we have Microsoft Windows 10 license agreement. Uh, you have no way around this, so you must accept it. Uh, so just go ahead and left click on the box marked accept. If you have a laptop or a desktop with a USB Wi-Fi adapter installed, uh, you should get this next screen asking you to uh, hook up to your Wi-Fi. Uh, as you can see, I have several networks to connect from. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect to Dead Zone, which is our Wi-Fi back here. Now you will need to put in the security key to hook up to your wireless. So in this white box here, we'll want to type in your security key. Uh, once you have your security key typed in, uh, you can just go ahead and left click on the box marked next. On this following screen, you can just go ahead and left click on Use Express Settings.
after the automatic restart and finalization process we just went through here it'll bring you to this screen asking you to log in with your Microsoft account this would be like a hotmail uh, email account or outlook or at live.com email account um, if you do not have one you can just click uh, skip this step uh, in the bottom left hand corner Now you will need to create a username and if you would like you can also create a password. Um, you will need to uh, create a username. Uh, it is required. You can type anything you'd like in this box. Your name, random numbers, doesn't really matter. It's whatever you would like. Uh, in the bottom three boxes where, under, where it says make it secure, you can, if you would like a password uh, to where you need to log in every time you restart Windows or the machine goes to sleep, etc., uh, you can enter a password in that second box, uh, re-enter the same password in the third box, and in the very bottom box you can leave yourself a hint. Uh, if you do not want a password of any kind and you just want it to boot uh, straight into Windows, uh, each time that you restart the machine, uh, you can just leave all three of these boxes blank and go ahead and click the uh, next button in the bottom right hand corner. After this last bit of finalization, uh, this will bring you into a fresh copy of Windows 10. Uh, so you can go ahead at this point and run Windows updates uh, as well as start installing your software back on. Uh, so I hope this video helped. Uh, if you need any further assistance, certainly feel free to give us a call. Our number is 855-252-4784. Again, that's 855-252-4784. Uh, you can also email us directly at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at Blair T-G, which is uh, B as in boy, L-A-I-R, T as in Tom, G as in George, dot com. Again, that's support at Blair T-G dot com. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.